Hello. Today we're going to look at the application of the Haplowave Elastic Muscle Care Tape to the plantar aspect of the foot to provide some acute relief to the pain that arises from a plantar fascial tractional pain. So plantar fasciitis if you like. Um, generally centering around this area here towards the plantar aspect of the heel and along the medial aspect of the plantar fascia, that medial band, we're going to apply some tape to give this acute relief. This is usually done um, post lodi taping. Um, it can stay on for four to five days through baths and showers and accompanies other therapeutic goals that you wish to establish to offload that fascia. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with this tape, which is very stretchy, is we're going to establish how much we need. So let's measure how much we need. First, we just dorsiflex the foot slightly. We're going to lay the distal portion of this tape just over the central metatarsal heads. It's going to travel along the plantar aspect of the foot, plantar aspect of the heel, posterior aspect of the heel, along the Achilles tendon, up to really the myotendinous junction where the Achilles tendon appears from soleus and gastrox. Okay, so because this tape is so stretchy, it might seem we need quite a lot, but we don't because we're going to stretch it. So this will probably be to about the mid portion of the Achilles tendon. That will be sufficient for the first piece. So let's cut that off now. Okay, let's round those corners so that uh, hosiery doesn't have a chance to grab it and wrench it free. Okay. First things, we're going to establish an anchor point and we're going to do that by tearing the paper and then just pulling the tape because it's very elastic and the paper breaks. Okay, well, let's peel off this paper backing to reveal the first anchor point and that reveals the arrangement of the elastic tape underneath which is in this wave pattern for stretch, hence the name Hapler Wave. There's a golden rule when applying this elastic tape and that is no stretch on the anchor point. So we're going to establish the anchor point here, then we're going to stretch the central portion of the tape and establish a further anchor point then at this myotendinous junction. Okay, so let's establish the anchor point on the plantar aspect of the foot here, just over those central met heads. Okay. Then we peel back the paper backing. Okay, so a little bit of tension on the tape just to sort of free that edge of the paper. Okay, we're not going to peel, the paper, peel that paper all the way back, okay, because we're going to establish first the first anchor point, then as we go over the heel, we're going to change direction. So first things first, as that would be a 100% stretch when we pull the tape all the way, but we want 50%, so we're going to come back by about half. Then we're going to lay this along the central band of the plantar fascia, okay, keeping good skin to contact. So as you come down, make sure you push down on that tape right onto the skin so it adheres strongly. Okay, then we get to the plantar aspect of the heel. Okay, there's our first part. Now, we're going to pull away the rest of the paper here to establish the second anchor point. This second part will also come at 50% stretch around the posterior aspect then of the heel. Okay, where we put it on the stretch and then we smooth it onto the skin. So keeping a good contact with the skin, we smooth this tape. The, bar, the Achilles tendon there runs central to the tape. And then, just lifting the foot slightly, we have our tape, our final piece of tape, which is the anchor point. So we can just take this out of the way for a moment and smooth that onto the skin establish that final anchor point. You can, if you wish, now use the waxy part of the paper to rub the tape to establish some friction and activate the adhesion through the application of a bit of heat. Now the second two pieces are going to be applied over the area where there is the most discomfort. So generally, if we dorsiflex the hallux and we tension that medial band of the plantar fascia there, often you'll find there's a lot of discomfort in this portion here, just slightly distal to its insertional point on the medial tubercle of the calcaneus. And so what we do is we're going to establish, not quite at 90 degrees, but we're going to establish two cross pieces of tape. Remember, we don't need that much because we're stretching it. 
just to add maximum lift of the skin, i.e. the epidermis, dermis, superficial layer and deep fascia, so that the edema, any inflammatory edema beneath, has a slightly larger surface area <coughs> over which it can be distributed and therefore not exert such pressure, hydrostatic pressure on those small venules and lymph vessels. So they themselves then can absorb that inflammatory edema faster. We're now going to break the tape in the center to establish two anchor points this time. Remember the first piece, we had a single anchor point, which we then applied the tape back to the final anchor point. This time we're going to establish two anchor points. There's the first, and then we peel back the paper on the other side. There's the second. Now, when I hold it, note that my thumbs are along the whole length of the paper, as are my fingers on the other side, so I can stretch it without curling it. There's 100%. Again, we want about 50%, so that's halfway back. And again, dorsiflexing the foot, we're going to lay it across the tape at the point of discomfort. There's our medial anchor point, just roll that on. There's our lateral anchor point on the other side, similar to the medial, just lay that on. There's our first piece. Now the second piece will cross almost like an X over the area, okay? Providing that maximum lift to that point where all the tape crosses. Okay, let's free that first piece again, there we are. Through that second piece, again, thumbs right across so we can get a nice even pull right across the tape. Back by half, 50%. This time though, we're not going to go this way, we're going to go this way. Almost like an X. Okay, lay it down, 50% stretch. Those are your anchor points, peel them away, simply on the lateral side. And then apply the waxy part of your paper. establish that heat and activate the adhesive. This tape then can be stay, can stay on roughly four to five days through bath and showers, tapping it dry with a towel before it'll probably just peel off.